How do you feel about your party's objection to this January 6th commission at the moment? I, I'm, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that we just haven't um, been able to acknowledge that an independent commission would be an opportunity for, for us to uh, have an independent review of this while we do our work. Um, but again, provide some answers to, to the American people, to the Congress. Um, I tell you, I spend a lot of time talking to really good men and women in the Capitol Hill Police. And um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the need for this independent commission is as much about them as it is for anything else out here. So, uh, I mean, obviously you know where I'm going to be on yeah. it, and I've made clear that um, it's not perfect. Is there going to be politics in it? Heck, there's politics in everything that goes on around here. But I think the way you structure it, and if leadership is is, is good and honest with with who they who they select to serve as part of the commission, I think that that can help alleviate some of the concerns about about partisanship. But um, it doesn't appear like we're going to have that opportunity, and I think that that's disappointing. The uh, September 11th commission, I think, took a year to approve. Do you think that's what's going to happen here, or do you think this is just the end know. of the story if this gets I don't closer? know. I, I haven't been able to really um, get a good sounding on that right okay. now. I mean, obviously, right now, what we're trying to figure out is, is, is this going to happen? It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but I don't think we know yet what, what the next step may be. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, there are, there are investigations that are going on within um, different committees, and yeah. we will... We will see them report out and see what that means. Um, and so it's not as if this vote fails and, and there's no more discussion about this. It doesn't make it go away. Yeah. Did you have a conversation with, with Officer Sicknick's mother? Did you meet with her? I met with her. I met with uh, his partner. And I met with one of the Capitol Hill police. Um, uh, former Representative Comstock was, was with them. Um, it was a good meeting, um, but I, I started out the conversation by just saying, I'm heart sick that you are here. I am heart sick that you feel that you need to come and advocate to members of Congress that we stand up and say the truth is hard, but the truth is necessary. And it's necessary for not only Officer Sicknick's mother and his partner, but for the officer that was there and who was representing so many officers, and, and for the country. Truth is hard stuff, but we've got a responsibility to it. So it was, it, they had come from a hard meeting, and so I was glad that I was, be, I was able to sit with them for about 20 minutes and just give everybody serious hugs because that was needed. They came from a meeting with someone that opposed mm -hmm. the commission. Mm -hmm. Do you think your Republican colleagues are opposed to this because they're worried about President Trump and what he might say and how it would influence the election next year? I believe there are those, yes, that, that, that believe that uh, they don't want to rock the boat. They don't want to upset. Um, uh, but again, it's important that, that there be a, a, a focus on, on the facts and on the truth. And that may be unsettling, but we need to understand that. And, and so other people's motivations I can't speak to, but, um, but I, think, I think there is some concern that we don't want to rock the boat. You know, I, I can't think about that, and I know that, that some might doubt that. Um, but what happened? I don't know if you were here on January 6th. I was here. I, you were there. You were there. I talked to some of the reporters that went through some pretty, pretty frightening scenarios. For them, this was not. Uh, this was not a group of tourists coming through. This was not a, 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 a protest that was mild. We know, you know, I know. And, and so to, to, to suggest that somehow or other this was not so bad. This was an attack on our capital designed to, to stop 
to stop a, a process that has been in play for, for a century plus, when we move to allow for the peaceful transition of power from one administration to the next, the democracy is allowed to continue. And so we just can't pretend that nothing bad happened or that people just got too excitable. Something bad happened, and it's important to lay that out. Peter McConnell says that there's nothing new to be learned about that day. Do you think that's accurate? Do you agree with that? Have you had one-on-one um, -on -one conversations with um, members of the Capitol Hill Police? Yeah. Yeah. Then you know. Um, were you here? I was. Okay, then you know. I think there's more to be learned. I want to know more. And I'm, I, I, I want to know and I don't want to know. I don't want to know, but I need to know. And, and I think it's important for the country um, that there be an independent evaluation. And some have said, well, it's never going to be independent because you have the speaker select, you have the, 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 um, uh, the Senate president uh, you know, select, and, and by its very nature, it will therefore become political. Okay, but it's even. Stephen, you pick one, I pick one. If we really want to, to be honest with this, we're going to pick, and, and it can't be people that are part of, of this body. Um, it's, it's folks that are from the outside. So if you really want to foul this up and make it political, I suppose you could with your own picks. But that's your calling. If you want to make it an independent commission, then later... This is your opportunity. Pick the right people. Leader McConnell has made it clear that this is about politics for him. And that, I mean, some of these hard truths that you say that could come out of this commission, I mean, his calculus is clearly that some of those hard truths could negatively affect some of the races, the Republican races in 2022. In your mind, would it be worth having those hard truths, having to, to digest those hard truths as a party, as a nation, if it means that you lose Republican seats okay. in the Senate in 2022? Apparently, it's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be making a decision for the short-term political gain at the expense of, of understanding and acknowledging what was in front of us on January 6th. I, I think we need to, to, to look at that critically. Is that really what this is about? Is everything is just one election cycle after another? Or are we going to acknowledge that as, as a country that is based on these principles of democracy that we hold so dear? And, and one of those is that we have we have free and fair elections, and we respect the results of those elections, and we, we allow for a peaceful transition of power. Um, I kind of want that to endure beyond just one election cycle. So uh, there's a lot of focus about this commission. Is it going to solve our problems? No. Your question, is it going to reveal anything more that we would have gotten otherwise? I don't know, and I guess now we'll never know. Um, but that not that part of the problem, that we'll never know? And so if we never know, we'll wonder, we'll keep wondering. It'll never, it'll never be resolved. It'll always be hanging out there. And so isn't it only right that we can provide some level of, of certainty at some point in time? My view. Apparently, I'm being called back to the office because you.